What's good everybody, it's Rishi TCG here today and today we have a new type of video where we're going to be looking at the new One Piece product coming out in the next couple months. Um, I'm actually really excited to see PB PB01 because all these new cars are looking really nice and I love alt arts, like all my decks are altars, here's some alt arts right here. Um, I fucking love maxing my deck, so let's look what what this set has to offer. This set's already looking fire as fuck. So let's look at we got a fucking Sanji leader. Check it out. Check out this this Sanji leader. We got the alt art version of the original Sanji leader. I don't remember the effect. I think it gives one unit rush. Um, we got the alt art of the original Sanji leader. It's looking clean as fuck in that manga aesthetic, and we got the uh, we got a nice compass in the back. You know, I, I really like this aesthetic. It's, it's my probably my favorite um, art style for the leaders, especially Sakazuki and like Gekko Moria. Gekko Moria's leader is a little too CGI for me, but I like Sakazuki leader. It looks really nice. It looks similar. All right, let's talk about what else is coming in this new set. So next we got not only do we get a manga, it's, it's Nami manga. We finally get a Nami manga. Although the pose is a little weird, um... I do like, I am a big fan of anime girls and all sorts of things, and, um, anime, and I like that the manga panel's in the back, I like that we got good manga version of Nami, and I'm pretty sure it's the searchers, so, it's, it's looking clean as fuck, and like, what can I say, this set's already looking really, really nice, um, let's go, let's go next, and let's talk about these fucking Dawn, okay, so, these are all the Dawn right here that you can, that come in this set. And we'll go through them in a second. But uh, if you want to know like what Dawns, you can look at the, look at this picture. This picture shows every single Dawn corresponding to the leader that it is. So we got Dofi, Crocodile Log, Gecko, Yamato, all these are leaders here. And we can come back here and look. I actually, my favorite Dawn probably has to be the Dofi one and the Corazon one. The Corazon one is probably my favorite one. Um, and I really fucking vibe with the um, the Perona one looks good. The Sokka one's all right. Yes, yeah, it's, it, it's just the Corazon one is the only one that like per se doesn't have the Dawn that, that much. Here we can kind of see the outline though of it. Okay, so next uh, let's talk about the the, the new support coming out so um we are getting a pretty much a reprint of every single card so as you can see in this picture with all the srs and everything in there we're getting sanji hiyori yamato reiju holy jones reprints all these srs this one's not as good as if you can see i didn't clip the other clip but this is just one of the clips. One of the other clips showed that there was a queen in there too. So that's totally dope. That means the game's become way more affordable. But uh, one thing with all packing all this into a set, really like, it, like there's a question. It begs to ask the question like, how much will this stuff cost? Like how easy will it to be to pull everything, you know? I don't think it'll be that hard, but that's just my opinion. So... Uh, I feel like this is like a set like Pokemon's Crown Zenith where it's just like everything is in it and they got these nice looking alt arts. So let's look at the, um, let's look at some of these alt arts and let's see. So if we look at, look at these, look at this one. So, so we got Kuzon 10 drop over here in the left side looking all icy. Yamato, Kaido, and Shanks. Those look clean. We got the Nutcracker. We got Satori. Whatever this fucking stage is. I think it's like something Sky Island or something. And then we get Marco with another alt art, which looking all right. Um, my favorite one has to be... Okay, yeah. So there is another picture. It's right here. I'm trying to find it. Okay, so... Over here, we got, you can see the reprinting, even Gecko, Moria, and Queen. So starter deck cards are coming in there. Playable cards are coming in there. 
pretty much every playable card you can ever play is going to be in these decks, which is perfect for people that want to get into the game. Um, it's perfectly back. Oh, like, it's just like, I I'm really happy they're doing this because it's making a lot. And, like, okay, we got some other clean alt arts here, like this Yamato 9 drop alt art, the 4 drop ace, and yeah, uh, I'm not the 4 drop ace, the 4 drop law, my bad. Yeah, and then finally, let's talk about the high rarity dawn. Look at that. Look at these high rarity dawn. It's pretty insane. We got the queen dawn. So they have this like golden texture on it. Like, to prove it's a high rarity dawn. Um, I don't know how easy they'll be to hit given there's 30 dawns and like all of them have high rarities. Um, going back. Let's check out this gecko. Like, let's check out this panel. This the, the third panel of these alts right here. We got Hody Jones here. We got Hiyori. We got La, and we got Gecko Moria. I don't like this gecko alt, but I do like the Hody. But I wouldn't be ashamed to pick up another set of gecko alts, you know. Well, this is for a fact. We know now they're not banning this card whatsoever. So, unlucky guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> like it's just fucking over. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, we didn't go over one more thing. There is reverse foiling too. So similar to Pokemon where like some cards would have reverses, we're gonna get foiling on our cards that like have little pirate stamps you can see on the screen right here. Uh, like this Otama. Um, but yeah, that's the video and thanks for watching guys. See you guys later.